I'm Alex with Sweet Pig Farm. Today we're going to talk about keeping animals warm in the winter time. Uh, perfect time, we're in St. Louis, Missouri area and we just got ourselves a lot of snow. We're talking about almost a foot of snow. So it's a perfect time to talk about this. There's so a few basic types of bedding. Classic is a straw or hay. Same category. You have your wood. You have your recycled paper. A lot of people forget about leaves. We have a lot of oak trees around here. It's a pretty cheap thing to collect and save is uh, leaves. We got three different types of shelters on the property. You have your basic wooden structures. We have earth and earth berm. We also have just a, a barn, which I guess you can consider the same shelter. Uh, and this particular one is out in the field. We have uh, three pigs that are trying to get up to wind. The big thing is we're trying to keep wind out. This is a decent structure for keeping the wind out. And if you're going to decide to shovel the snow around them, why not create a little berm to help keep the wind out of the area? In this case, we just did a simple trail to where they're going to eat and feed. Now with these guys, we're going to use leaves because in this little box, it <coughs> stays in there quite well. They can bury themselves in it and it helps trap in a lot of heat. And these are dry because we've kept them inside. I know with the exposure out here being super bright out here and dark in here, it's hard to see. As you can see, we have a decent layer of bedding for these animals so they can bur burrow in. Leaves work really nice, kind of fluffy. They can stay in there. It keeps a kind of a dry area for them. The biggest thing is keeping them dry and keeping them out of the wind. Now these big guys are lucky. They got an earthworm home. But we weren't exactly ready and prepared for this. As you can see, earthworm home is a little windy and a little open. But being that they're so close to the ground, the wind doesn't affect them as much. In this case, we're going to use hay with them. They're old enough, they like to eat hay, and it's a little bit tighter than straw. And some of you guys are thinking, I didn't get a cow or a horse because they're hay burners. Why the heck do I want to buy hay for a pig? If you're lucky, you'll find a horse owner that's trying to get rid of old hay. And as long as it's not moldy, and it's nice and dry, it is safe to use. Our Yorkshire here, she's uh, already gave us eight piglets. Um, she's on her second round already, uh, so we want to try and take care of her as much as possible. She's also carrying a, a mix with, we bred her with a red waddle this time. Uh, as you can tell, she's going to town. She loves this hay. She gives her something to munch on. But at the same time, you can see, it works real nice. Now the leaves, uh, <coughs> we've used on early fall. What's really nice is there was acorns in there. And anybody that's ever tasted acorn meat from a pig is really tasty. Uh, helps them put on a winter weight, or a winter fat, I should say, while the leaves themselves help insulate.